Hey, it's Vass here from Metro Hobbies and welcome to another unboxing. Today, we're gonna to be looking at something a little bit different, something unique. Uh, we have the Kyosho Catch Surf, which is a very strange name for a cool looking product, uh, which is essentially uh, an RC surfboard with a little surfer dude on here. Uh, so I'm gonna take you through everything that comes in this box and how to set this guy up and how it all works. So stay tuned, because this one's gonna be interesting. Okay, so once you get everything out of the box, this is what you're going to see. You're gonna get your radio, you're gonna get your surfboard, a little surfer dude, which you'll need to attach to the surfboard. So he comes in a little box separate and we'll talk about that in a little sec. Uh, you get manuals, you have a battery. Uh, you also have a USB charger for that battery. The battery is only a 2200 milliamp uh, nickel metal battery with Dean's plug. Uh, Dean's is actually pretty good in this circumstance. I think it's actually a great positive. Uh, 2200 milliamps is probably not going to give you a huge amount of runtime, uh, so you can always get a, a bigger battery as well uh, later on if you want to. And then you get uh, some spares and some accessories here, which we'll talk about very, very briefly. So um, there is a screwdriver in here, and there's a funny looking tool, uh, which I'm not sure how well this will show up on camera, but there's a funny looking tool that looks like it's got a bit of a hook and a loop there. And I'll explain what that is for as we go through this unboxing. Uh, there's also a spare rudder. The rudder is this funny looking, kind of looks like two black legs on here. Uh, and there's a, a, an Allen key in there and a spare screw as well. So uh, these are the spares bag. Make sure you hold on to this one. Uh, and then you have an antenna tube, which you can put uh, on the actual surfboard itself. There's also a spare servo horn. Uh, there's a bind plug in case you need to rebind the uh, receiver to the radio, but it should be pre-bound from factory. Uh, and then you've got a couple of O-rings. One of the, uh, the little orange one um, is actually for the screws that kind of hold down the hatch. So you've got to spare one of those. And then you have two uh, la rather large O-rings, which are designed to, I suppose, hold the surfer guy to the actual surfboard. So we'll talk about that again in a little while. Uh, and then of course you have the manual. Now the manual itself uh, is, uh, is actually very good in the sense that it has all the necessary information for you to uh, be able to set this, uh, this surfboard up. Uh, it's actually got exploded views in here with spare part numbers and all that sort of thing. Uh, as you'd sort of expect from uh, you know a brand like Kyosho, you'd expect everything to be there. Uh, it does come in a couple of different languages, hence why it's a little bit uh, thick. Uh, but down the back, if I open it up here, you'll actually see an exploded view uh, of the surfboard itself and it has all the part numbers and everything on there. So if you do need to replace something, um, you know, uh, all the parts will, should be there now. Uh, information regarding how to set it up, how to um, uh, kind of install your battery, how to remove the hatch, how to hook up the surfer dude. Uh, there's also information on here as well on how to do that because I went through this just briefly uh, before. If I can find the page where it actually shows you how to hook up the surfer dude, the tool that you're gonna need to actually do all of that, everything is in the manual and you can follow that along uh, to your liking. The radio is a, uh, you know, the Kyosho uh, standard radio that I've been using now for a little while. Uh, we've gone through this one before, but it's very well equipped, runs on four double A's, uh, really good feel in the hand, nice rubber grip on the back here. You have all the usual trimmings, uh, steering jewel rate, throttle jewel rate, everything is on there, reverse switches. Um, so yeah, very, very nice little uh, uh, radio itself. So uh, let's move on to the main guy, because uh, this one's quite interesting. This is the surfer dude, the little uh, surf catch or catch surf uh, from Kyosho. It's a very unique product. This is something that you're gonna take out maybe to the bay. I wouldn't take it to high seas. Uh, don't get too carried away. It is still a radio control little toy thing. So, uh, you know, but to do some, uh, some small waves, uh, especially near the shore, I think this would be a lot of fun for a lot of people. Uh, and we've still got some good weather left over, you know, from summer and, and we're still in autumn. So uh, I think you can still enjoy this product quite well. Now, the surfer guy is not actually attached at the moment. Um, he's very lightweight, he's also hollow. Um, so don't worry, this is not gonna be like top heavy or anything like that. And he attaches to the actual hatch via these little, um, uh, these little black pieces that are on here uh, with those big black O-rings that are in this little bag where you have your antenna tube and so forth. So you actually have to remove these little black pieces. Um, they kind of twist on there, so they're just kind of loose on there. Um, essentially, the way it works is you pop the hatch off, so you have to undo these four screws. Uh, it's all sealed all the way around, so uh, and the screws themselves have those little orange O-rings that I showed you that you have a spare for, uh, um, spare one for. So that's all should be pretty watertight. Like nothing's 100%, but it should be pretty watertight. Um, 
and underneath there are some screws underneath holding these little black things in place you undo those take them out and then the instructions will show you how to feed these little black o-rings through the feet <clears throat> through the inside of the feet so the way that it works there's a cross like a little crossbar that's inside the feet and you need to feed those little o-rings through there so that both loops kind of stick out and then the loops kind of hook onto those black pieces so once you put them on then you can screw it back onto the latch this means that he's not a permanent fixture on the top of the surfboard. There is a little bit of give and a little bit of flex. So as you might tumble across in shallow water, hit the sand and so forth, you know, um, it's not going to snap off. It should flex a little bit. It should have a bit of give, which I think is a great feature and a great design. Now, hopefully these will actually last uh, a little while. And of course, to help you feed those through, uh, you've got this funny looking tool with the big hook on the end. So to help you kind of feed it all through and, and pull the, the little... Uh, o-rings through so it's really cool that they've included all of these components uh, in the box they're not just leaving it to you to figure out how to do it they actually give you the tools to be able to do that as best as possible and they give you pretty clear instructions on how to do everything as well so that's the hatch there and then inside um, these are the electrics so there are two hoses here the two clear hoses these are actually for the water pickup so you'll notice that the water pickup on one of them is actually facing forward. So as the uh, as the board is running through the water, water is getting fed into this hole here, being pressurized, going through, cooling the motor as best as it can, and then exiting out the other way. And then this hole is actually facing the opposite way. So the water can actually even be sucked out a little bit. So there's this pressurized sort of uh, uh, system going on here that kind of allows the water to go through and cool the motor uh, as you're running the boat. Uh, there's also a Velcro strap here that you can uh, uh, attach to the battery. So this, this is where your battery is going to sit. Uh, and then of course you've got your ESC over here, uh, which is not water cooled. This is just a standard um, RC car ESC. It's not, a, it's not a marine ESC, so it's just for a brushed motor. And then the receiver is actually in a plastic bag. And this is really cool because a lot of the boats that, that I've seen in the past, they don't actually come with these little plastic bags. And I always encourage people, you know, if you have like a little bag or a little balloon, you can put the receiver in those balloons and then just put a little elastic band on the end or zip tied as they've done here. And that stops any water from getting into the receiver because if water gets into this receiver, then obviously it could, you know, fry out and, and short circuit and then it won't work anymore. Uh, steering servos over here. And uh, that has a nice long rod that goes down to the rudder, which is this big black piece on the end here. Uh, the uh, prop is down the bottom. It's just a plastic prop as far as I could tell. And then you've also got uh, a little latch here, a little hatch, I guess, that you can pop open. And this gives you access to the rudder. So they also give you a spare rudder in case you need it. Um, you know, in case this one gets broken off or whatever, if you hit some shallow water or rocks or something like that. So um, then that's pretty much it. The, the boat itself, like the, the actual board itself, is quite hefty. It's like it's got a little bit of weight to it, um, which I guess is all purposely done to try and keep the the low, you know the center of gravity fairly low. So even though you've got this guy sitting on top, um, he's just going along for the ride, <laughs> essentially. Uh, being hollow, being super lightweight, uh, this is where all the action is going to be and they've done this to make this as, as stable as possible And I really appreciate that this little foam block that you're seeing here. This is actually included in the box as well uh, And as you can see this is perfect for you to just pop the uh, the surfboard on there and just keep it on the shelf um, And and you know it allows you to work on it and do whatever it is you need to do without this sort of rocking around on the bench So uh, very cool that they've included all of this and there we have it. That is the Catch Surf from Kyosho. A very cool looking product, very unique product uh, that I think is going to bring a lot of smiles uh, to those of you that uh, you know enjoy going to the beach. And uh, no doubt you'll have a crowd around you in no time looking, oh, what is that? And how do I get one? So uh, be sure to check these out. Uh, they're on our website at the moment. We've got them here in store as well. Uh, great little product for those of you who uh, enjoy going out to the beach and having some fun. So that is it for me. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, check out the video description down below. We'll have links in there to the product itself, as well as links to batteries and additional charges and so forth that you can always upgrade if you wish. Thank you again, and I'll speak to you all next time.